everybody and welcome back to Horse Preprod where as you can see we now have access to the the new collections page. If you're not yet aware or if you haven't seen my last video, in my last video I talked about the new trophies page that is coming to the game. This is the special horses page. We want the trophies page. This is the new trophies page that will replace this trophies page that you see on the live version. We do now have access to the collections because keep in mind that the trophies, some of your trophies, such as your coat trophies, companion trophies, divine trophies, those are being transferred to the collections. We now have access to that. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into that. I think I was going to do a tour through this, but I have a feeling I want to stop and talk about everything. So I will go through each of these one by one and I will just talk about my comments and just concerns I have as we go along with this. Now, I will say those straight off, they have implemented some changes since yesterday, and this has been up for a few days. So I think they've been reading through our comments and I'm sure they're probably annoyed with seeing my posts by this point because I've left lots of feedback about this. But they are making improvements to this. I still much prefer the current trophies that we have now, but if they're just gonna go full steam ahead, with this whole trophy, new trophies and collections, at least they're listening to our feedback and they can make it the best that it can be. Mainly my biggest concern with this now is just navigation. And with the current format, there's just no way they can make it as efficient as what we currently have in the trophies. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, horse breeds, let's see. Horse breeds have been fully transferred. There's no worry there. What I do like now, this was newly added because this was a huge concern of mine. There is now an only missing elements toggle switch. If you wanna see immediately what you don't have, click this little toggle. I've completed this, so obviously nothing shows up. I love this because originally you'll see it in my other sets where I don't have completed your um, your unobtained elements or coats were just scattered throughout versus on the current trophies page. Let's look at my companions. I don't have all of these. What you don't have is automatically up at the top. Makes it really easy to find. Whereas with this new page, you just had to look for this check mark because all of this was highlighted. Nothing was grayed out. It was really difficult to distinguish what you had versus what you didn't have. All you had was a little check mark. So all of these have been transferred. I'm pretty sure nothing really new to note there. Same with the classic coats. These are pretty much all go to the page, please. All of these have been transferred. Something I dislike again, and it's just my overall concern that I keep complaining about. I, on one hand, do like that the images are larger. They're much more visible. However, they're still too large because obviously we have a lot of species on the game. You have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find the breed that you want. You can use the control F feature. I think what would be better is if they implemented a search because you shouldn't have to use the control F search. And I don't know what the equivalent to that is if you're on a mobile device and you're logging in on here. But otherwise, this, this is fine. There's still no icons. My icons are missing. Please, I hope they add this because, again, I just don't like the plain text. This is just not exciting for me. To me, still, this seems more more like a directory than collections. But I suppose fitting the collections within a directory works, you know, that's fine. But this is not as exciting for me still as like actual trophies. It's just, it's a directory that I'm filling in, I guess. They're not trophies. So here you go. These are grayed out because I don't yet have these. <laughs> Versus before they listened to our feedback, these would have all been highlighted. And yeah, I have, I'd have no idea. I'd have to like look through and find that ugly green check mark. It's not ugly. I'm just being dramatic. But here you go. These, I use the toggle. These are what I don't yet have. Also, what I don't like is that there, this is a bad example because I don't have any of these completed, but there's no special indicator when you've completed a set. Let me go back to the horse breeds because these I've completed. See, riding horse. I have all of these. I have all 39, but there's nothing here that indicates a special, there's no special indicator 
that I do have all of them. It's not highlighted. There's there's no check mark. They could put a check mark there. They could outline it in gold, you know, something to make it more exciting that I've completed all of these like it does with the trophies. And this is just, again, it's just not as exciting to me. I unfortunately can not show you the special coats because I do hope they are working on this. I will show you a screenshot of what it looked like only yesterday. And this is, so when you click on the special, the special coats page, this is the special coats. It starts off with the Bewitched Pumpkin. These, you know, okay, these are fine. The Parade Apple has now been added. I think that one does not have a trophy. The Inkwell trophy is gone. Those have been put in with the animated coats. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Currently, none of the animated coats. And by animated coats, that means Typhon, the animated avatar coat, and then there's a couple of others. They would have been like those jackpot coats that we could win from some of the events. Those are all placed in the animated coats. The retired golden apple, this should not be here. I don't know if you noticed it when we were on the collections page overview, but that does have its own collection. So that should not be here anymore. But look at the wanderer spirit. All of these sets have been lumped in together in just one set. That's why there's 117 coats. So when you clicked on Wanderer Spirit, even worse, this is what it looked like. For those of you who know your wandering horses, your wandering spirit coats, you will know that Aphrodite does not belong next to these two. Uh, is that Caesar? I don't remember which that one is, but these are from the historical set, I believe. Starting with Aphrodite, going down, these are the Greek gods. There's no separation between the sets, and there's also no label. What you had to do, you had to click on the horse image, and then there would be a pop-up bar down at the bottom, and you could either click the direct sales link, which the direct sales just takes you to the sales page with all of the Wanderer Spirits pulled up, not the specific one that you're looking for. Or if you clicked learn more, it would take you to the Wandering Spirit page and then you would have to click through each of the different categories to find the horse. If you at least know your set, then you can go directly to that set page. But if you don't know that this one is from the Greek gods, you're going to have to click through each set until you find this coat image. So I do hope that they are A, splitting up the different sets and B, they're adding a label under each picture because they, they do have... They have labels for the other coats, I believe. Well, I can't look at those, but I mean, they have different labels. I mean, look, they have labels for the vintage apple coats. So hopefully they're, they're listening to our feedback there. And then I will be interested to see what that looks like. Special horses page. These are all of the divines. These have all been transferred. Again, you have to scroll forever down the page. What they have changed this is new, other, this includes, see, and now I have to scroll all the way back up. It's ridiculous. Orion, Harlequin, and Archimedes have been added. I don't yet think these are in the trophies, unless they're in the all divine horses. I'm not quite sure. You could check that out. Anyway, they're in here. They have a trophy. Also, the birthday horse, Kindesim. The 15-year horse, he has his own little special trophy. He's lonely only in his set. Again, no special indicator that I've completed the solar system horses. And for me, completing these divine sets is much more exciting than, say, the breed coats. <laughs> that took me a number of years to collect all these divine horses, all those solar system horses. That took a while. So that's the special horses pages. Moving on to companions now. I don't think there's anything huge to see here. Yeah, these are pretty much all what you see on the trophies page. Not a big deal. Again, just missing the icons though, like all of the other collections are. Owls, Helios, Ray landscapes. These are sorted by color. So there you go. If you notice, there is no Golden Apple or Helios Ray collection. I do hope this means they're going to add them because originally when we opened up the collections, there was no separate retired Golden Apple retire golden apple coat collection it was in with the special coat so i do hope they can add those other two the regular golden apple and the Halo's rays because otherwise that's going to feel like a crush to those who like to collect those the cards this may not seem like a big deal to other people but if you're somebody like me who really likes having 
horse history actually on horse so you don't have to go off site to find older older cards older event stuff this might be a disappointment to you because if you notice here scrolling down through these are the puzzle cards right where are the gift cards my gift cards are gone there's no gift cards the other issue is that they are not separated with you know from they're not separated into their puzzle sets they're just listed out from card rarity starting with the diamond cards then gold and then silver and then bronze and I don't, I don't like this the other issue really big issue the olympus cards and the cowbra cards are gone so if you're to go if you want to go into your card collections and i do actually go through occasionally back and i look at these because i find this interesting to look at the olympus cards are not available i don't know how long these have been missing i hope they come back soon because if they do get rid of this completely i would like a screenshot I do have some of these, but that's only because players back in the day did share the promo code for those cards. That's the only reason why I have some of these, the Cowboy cards, because these were physical cards that you actually had to physically get. They weren't digital cards. So they weren't available to everybody, but I don't see why that should be a concern because honestly, none of these sets were available, are currently available to everybody, right? Because you have to actually participate in a cards event to get these cards if you do not participate in the spring rainbow cards event or even if you did participate and you did not collect all of those cards your collection will not be complete therefore i say keep the cowbra and the olympus cards because this is a really cool piece of history this is how i remember that this is how we got the slepner divine isn't that neat the breeder's wealth privilege cowbra even though cowbra there was only one cowbra Ever. And he is now gone from the international server because the player who owned him, their account was deleted due to inactivity. And that the Mustang. See, we got the Mustangs here too. I think this is really fun to look at. And here's an example of the gift cards. Remember when we had diamonds? This is the Namibian horse. That's that wild horse. The seahorse bonus. This this is old bits of history. Oh my gosh, turnips. Do you guys remember turnips? That seemed like so long ago. This is so fun to look at. I love this. Please don't get rid of this. And here you go. These are the puzzle sets. They're all separated. It's really neat to look through here and see, oh, hey, I completed the Abandoned Village, the Mist Lake set. And with this new card collection, you can't tell at all because they're sorted by rarity. And I think this is where this really large format becomes a hindrance. Also, this is where turning, using the same three column format for every single collection does not work because there are, were there five cards? Yes, there's five cards to a puzzle set. How is that going to work when you have three columns for all of these collection pages? You can't do that. You'd have to have five cards in a line to show your puzzle sets. So I highly advise that if you really like your card collections go through and take screenshots do a screen recording you know a video what have you if you want to keep all of this you know some people like doing that which I think is quite fun some people have shown old screenshots of old horse uh, like in the VIP forum before, which is really neat because even though I've been playing since 2007, I don't always remember all of the different features and what the aesthetics looked like. So it's always fun to look through and see all that stuff. We don't want to lose that. This is the retired Apple page. This was available just a minute ago. I wonder, is the Wanderer Spirit available? Oh, hey, that's the Companions. I'm sorry. Is the Special Coat page available? It is not. Well, the retired Apple page. Okay, now we can see it. Here you go. So these are split according to species. Right here. Now, I don't really have much to say about this. So this kind of does segue into an update that we got today which admin told us that the collections, so these collections will also count towards the general ranking in addition to the new trophies page, which is great because originally they had just told us that the new trophies would count, which is really 
disappointing for players who, you know, they would lose out on all of their coat trophies, their companion trophies, their divine trophies, and these special coat trophies. All you would have is whatever's on that new trophies page, which is pretty much um, like your EC rosettes, event trophies, Grand Prix, personal rosette trophies. And for a lot of players, you know, not everybody can compete in the Grand Prix because there are a limited number of ranking. You know, you have to earn one honor in the weekly Grand Prix ranking in the last 12 months. And that's not something obviously that everybody can do because only a limited number of people can do that versus everybody can eventually own 700 retired golden apple coats. Might take you a while, but it's perfectly possible to do because limited coats are always released every month. So I would have went from, well, I'm still going to go from 313 trophies down to, I think I have 86 on here. Yeah, I have 86 of these. So that was highly concerning. But now we do, we do know that the collections will count. Now, my next concern and question is how exactly are the collections going to count towards the general ranking? Especially for something like the retired Golden Apple Coats, where 99% of players are not going to be able to complete all of these. Because there are quite a few coats that have just single digit copies left. And then even for something like these newer coats that were released, it's not going to be possible for everybody to collect all of the winged donkey coats because there are some that were released in 100 copies. And there are however many players on the game versus with our current trophies, there's no limit on that. You know, it's just 700 different coats. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to have the rarest of the, of the rare, even with here, literally the rarest of the rare, which are coats that exist in less than 100 copies. You just have to own 200 of those. And there are way more than that on site. Therefore, everybody can eventually collect all 12 of these trophies. So I don't know how the collections are going to exactly factor into the ranking. Maybe they'll take our percentage somehow. Uh, that would definitely be a lot better because, yeah, just your percentage versus, say, you don't actually have to have, like, the riding horse set complete <laughs> because that's not going to happen. It is interesting, though, for the retired Apple page in particular that you can see this breakdown with the numbers because we don't even have this in the creation directories, you would have to count them up yourself. So I do like seeing the actual total count for for the collections page. This is pretty neat. I did not realize there were only 16 retired winged donkey coats. <laughs> I, I know there aren't that many winged donkey coats or donkey coats in general that are released each month, but still I was surprised to see that. So this is interesting, but... Yeah, that's my concern. Hopefully we'll get that answered for us. But I am glad that the collections will count because otherwise that's seriously losing out on the breeds, all of the coats, the divines would have really hindered my general ranking score. And that has been something that I have been actively working on for the past year. It's been my biggest goal to improve my general ranking. Same with just completing all of my trophies. I did not want to lose. I still don't want to lose seeing all of these checked off because now that we've looked through all of these again, I still, I don't think this is efficient to navigate through. I don't want to have to open up, go through five different pages just to see what I don't have. This just isn't as appealing to me. I like it for a directory format especially for the vintage apples, because we don't currently have a directory for these. This is quite nice to look through. But as an actual collections trophy, it's still just not as exciting for me to look at. Please add icons for these subcategories and also add an indicator, special indicator that I've completed a set that just makes it much more exciting, even though I would prefer the trophies page to be kept as they are, that at least would, you know, 
I wouldn't dislike it as much if some of those are added. Hopefully they will be because they have been changing things already. Something else I would like to touch on is that if you would like a better or if you would like to kind of have an idea of how to navigate the collections and you're not on pre-prod, well, it turns out there is already a collections page on the live mobile version. If you're on a PC, you can just type in m.horse.com into your web browser and you can get to the mobile version on your PC. And the collections page on mobile does sort of look like what it does on pre-prod. However, I do think mobile looks a lot better because look, we have icons and look, the Wander Spirits were already separated. I don't quite understand why if they were going to turn this basically into the mobile version anyway, why they didn't just use a lot of this to begin with. Because this is much more appealing for me. Also, everything was already, I mean, look, they, they do use the highlighting system on here. And they didn't already have that implemented on pre-prod. I don't quite get it. I still just in general don't understand why the game is insisting on transitioning to this mobile version format. I get that the game, I mean, this is quite dated, I'll admit. I like the top because this does look, you know, could have been like a, it's, it's a nice design. It's a landscape. But down when you get towards the bottom, this color is quite dated. Which is ironic, actually, because I do precisely remember when the background was updated to this color because a lot of players were upset due to how bright it was. I don't think it, it was this exact color because I think they did tone it down, but they were updating it because they said that the site was looking dated. And now, of course, we're X number of years later, and now apparently this looks dated, which this yellow color is a bit dated. In which case, I would say just update the background. Enlarge the images a little bit, or how about when you click on a trophy? See, this could be this could be a lot bigger, or you could at least just make this little bubble bigger when you hover over it. Or as much as I dislike all of the pop-ups that we're getting, have a let us click on this and have it just pop up in a box, and then we can just click off to the side to get rid of it. I would be fine with that because even if you open it in a new tab. It's still really tiny. I mean, really, I think that's the only negative about this page is that, you know, the background is a little bit dated. The icons are certainly fine because these are the same icons. The vintage Apple icon here is the same vintage Apple icon on the vintage Apple page. So I just don't really see the need in general to split the trophies up, you know, to have trophy to have some of these current trophies go, go towards the new trophies and then have some of them go to collections again I like this as a directories but I think just also keep keep them as trophies I think in a perfect world what I would actually like to see is keep this trophies page as it is implement this new trophies page as an achievement system, because there are players that will like the rewards and the rewards are nice. I don't, I don't feel like I need them because for trophies on like on Lied and their achievement system, that doesn't offer a reward on Flight Rising. Their bestiary does not offer a reward. I don't need the reward, but this is nice. So just implement this as an achievement system, have these collections implemented as a new directories. Because even with our current directories, it's pretty much fine. I think maybe that could be a little bit more visible. Just put these, or yeah, just put these collections here into the directories that we have. And update it that way. I think for me, that would be much better. Because I, I still don't know now that I really, this still just does not make me want to complete my companions or my Wander Spirit Coats. There were a few Wanderer Spirit coats that went for auction, I think, last night, and I just didn't bother with them. So I haven't bought any Wanderer Spirit coats for a while. Not not for the last week or two since we knew about the new trophies update and everything, just because I, I just don't feel as excited about completing them right now. 
not as excited as I do about seeing this because this is what I've been working on for the past year. Technically, ever since the trophies were put out, you know, a bunch of these I've been working on, but it wasn't until the last year that I decided, hey, I really want these Wander Spirit trophies. And now just to see them in the collections, I don't know. It's just not as exciting to me. I think, oh, one other thing I would like to mention before we leave. What do the trophies and the collections look like on our profile pages? Because keep in mind that when you're on, this is the live version, these are what my trophies look like on my page. The box is expanded, of course. What is also really amazing about these trophies is that you can organize them however the heck you want to. If you are really proud of your, your birthday trophy, your retired coat trophies, your divine trophies, you can put those at the top. Especially because when the box is condensed, these are the first trophies that you're going to see. And they can only show us about the first three, three lines or something. And I don't know how many other people actually expand the trophies to look at them. But this is just so much more impressive to see all of, all of these laid out. Versus on pre-prod, these are what your trophies look like. The medals, I should say. Uh, we haven't been told yet if they're going to change these icons or not. But anyway, these are, this is what my 86 medals look like. Do you know what they're for? Because I don't know what they're for. I would have to go into my trophies page and look, okay, these are the diamond trophies. That's what I got those diamond trophies from. But otherwise, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remember that. And nobody else is going to know that because they do not have access to view your trophy page. I do think they said that they might try or they will implement the collections onto your profile, but I don't know how that's going to work. If they're going to, again, add like icons. So we will eventually see all of these on our profile page again. I don't know. But that's something that a lot of us have... Um, express dislike about because this just is not impressive at all this to me because they look like metals they could almost be like rosettes honestly like are these for competitions events I mean it does say trophies but you know they look more like they're they're medals from winning competitions rather than being trophies so after discussing all of that I think that's pretty much I think that's it. Hopefully I addressed any concerns or questions or updates. There are still a few, few questions up in the air, of course, such as how exactly are the collections going to be factored into the ranking? Is it the percentage or something else? Hopefully they will just kind of translate what we like. Let's just say I currently, my trophies give me 100 points for the ranking. I'm just making up a number because I haven't looked at the general ranking for me in forever and I don't remember how. So let's say I have 100 points for the ranking right now because of my trophies. With the trophies and collections together, do I still have 100 points counting towards my ranking? Because I think it'll be pretty annoying to have that completely shuffled up because it's not like... The trophies are not at all like what passes used to do counting towards the ranking. Passes used to count towards the general ranking and then they replaced it with the trophies. And it was passes bought, I believe. And obviously not everybody buys passes or can buy passes. But with the trophies, everybody can participate in this in some way. There are some that, you know, I'm just not going to be able to do. But there are others that I can get to make up for that because there are other players who participate heavily in the Grand Prix and they have these, but they might not have these coat trophies. So there you go. You know, you can still be competitive in some in some way. So that's it. Again, if we have any other updates, I will try and show that on here. It does seem like with the changes that they've made overnight, they are trying to make improvements to this. It's still not as good as what the current trophies are to me mostly again just because I don't like the functionality of it I mean yes you can easily see okay I want to see my American coat trophies I mean it is easy to navigate here um, pre-prod is not cooperating right now but it is easy to navigate there it just takes longer than just going to my trophies page and just clicking on this vintage apple is a bad example because the vintage apple doesn't actually it only shows what you have it doesn't show all of the codes but you get the idea 
So anyway, if anybody has any questions or concerns or just general comments, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.